notice that I get pinged on. Mm -hmm. And then immediately, because it knows me well enough, and with the new technologies that are coming out, with the right. voice activity, Google, Google, Allo, forth, Google Assistant, Allo. Yeah. And Allo, yeah. and your earbuds we talk about and everything. All of a oh, sudden, yeah. there's a continuity of solving. It's like, hey, Lauren, uh, flight's canceled, but I have you uh, capable of being rebooked on this flight, gate number 27. You want it? Right. Say yes. And right. boom, I'm on gate 27. Well, but, and that, oh, go ahead. Robert. So I think ahead. all of this meta search stuff is a is it's just a hopscotch. I think Darlene made a great statement. She says, um, "Ford says if I asked my customers what I, what they wanted, uh, they would said faster horse." Right, right. right. We put it in the context of how we see the, the technology now. We're not seeing in the context of what is uh, is past the horizon. No, 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 What's no, past no, the horizon no. is the connectivity part of this. Well, no, 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 no. I agree. I disagree completely. <laughs> the connectivity part, wait, no, I, I disagree with how you messaged it, right? Okay. The connectivity is where it begins. If you don't have connectivity, none of that other stuff matters. Nothing works. Nothing works. Nothing works. works. So that's why I'm saying use a Cody, use a Whip, use a Derbysoft, use a whomever. Have the connectivity now because you can do that now. Stuff right. like Assistant, stuff like Allo, stuff like Siri, stuff like... Uh, um, you know, uh, um, Alexa, uh, et cetera, it. right? All of those tools today, none of that is going to get you any extra value for your property today. Right. But if you don't have the connectivity, which will get you value today from TripAdvisor and from Google uh, price ads and from uh, um, Kayak and from Trivago and the like, not a lot of value, but a little bit of value. If you don't have the connectivity, you don't get any of that either. And you're yep. not set up for the future. Well, so I agree no, with what said. you, you said. It you I, said I agree it with what you said. But connectivity is the fundamental piece. If you do no. not have a foundation, none of the rest of that. That's all you know, pie in the sky, cool. That right. you as a hotelier will never benefit from. I no, you, need, you said you it better. That's a better things. way of saying. It. Need three things. You need the connectivity. Yep. You need the content. Yep. And and you need the analytics or the things yep. being so you mm -hmm. can figure out where the hell because it is getting layered that's right, right. The thing that i, I oh, disagree wait, wait, wait. with fourth thing fourth thing and you need somebody that knows what the hell they're doing with all those three things oh sure sure <laughs> that's the but, problem but, people will plug into this automation like we talked about at the beginning of the show you plug into this automation of price for, of, of control and things get automated in their responses and then you get caught on the news be, as somebody that just jacked your rate to rack because right. you're Right, you but if you it. use a Derby Soft or you use a Cody or you use a Whip or you use those guys, they do provide you with a lot of that service in addition yeah. to just the connectivity. Robert, you were starting but, to say. But the, but the area I disagree with uh, with Cindy on is Google does not want to become Expedia or Priceline. They, 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 so they claim. Uh, and but they, they don't. So they, they don't. Facebook probably don't. They probably don't, they don't, by the way. I, uh, I would, and I haven't had specific conversations with them about it. I'm I'm absolutely convinced they have zero interest in that. They want to be in that advertising layer right. where they say we've got traffic, we have context of right. what these right. people want. Right. Come on in. Yeah, Here we are. Yeah. We are the mar They want to yeah. be the marketplace, right? I, and I that suspect works. you're right, Robert. Right. Come come into our bazaar over here and right. look at what you can do. This is going to be great. Right. The well, interesting thing that I see is. It, it, the war is the OTAs versus the hotel brands because they are now the intermediaries in this situation. So because this is you've, your got, you've got, yes, this is Google at the top, and then you've got the the true suppliers kind of at the bottom. Now the suppliers can't do it just on their own, but what do they tie into that? Is it the rewards programs? Is it the branding? Is right. it, or is it just the connectivity and the context and oh. the reviews that say? I've never heard of this hotel, but it's freaking awesome. So I got to stay I, there, which is, the same, which is the same as Airbnb. Right. I've never heard of that right. particular unit, but it's right. freaking awesome. I got to stay there. Can I ask a favor? Because, Robert, no. I read your article. Your article is brilliant, and I want to mm -hmm. discuss your article. Which article was that? The the one where you <laughs> basically the whole war between uh, oh, who yeah, makes the money, the who's at risk, et cetera. There's, there's, there's okay. actually there's Wait, a, I have to ask there's a, favor. Actually a white paper behind that, which awesome. I'm waiting for sure to do it. It's only 50 bucks on t -Nut. Okay, so here's the thing. I, it is, it, we've been going for two hours. Unfortunately, uh -oh. I have a hard stop. 
I yeah. want to have this conversation because this. All right, so next for next week's talking for sure. Can we make this the lead story for next week because this is a great conversation. We can because be, by the end of this weekend, I'm going to have a whole another thing for Focusrite written on Google and its future for their innovation edition. Awesome. Well, that's very cool. Well, very right, cool. I'll make this. I'll make sure that we post that, that this article is the first thing for next week. We may have a guest speaker next week. We were in we're in dialogue ah, with a few okay. people. Thanks to Holly. Uh, Holly, thank you so much for reaching out for, for this person, if they can come through. And I think Ed's chasing down a couple of people he met down in Puerto Rico. Uh, awesome. So we're, we, might, we might get back to This was the first show we've had in a while that we haven't had a guest speaker, but it obviously hasn't hurt our time delay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, and if we have a guest, if we have a guest, we just want to make this the first conversation following the guest. But certainly. The, certainly this certainly, is certainly. worth having a conversation. Unfortunately, I really do have to bolt. And, we'll just, uh, and with the guests, we'll just go, yeah, 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 fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, right, okay. We have other things we want well, to talk about. Let's... So much. <laughs> but as Holly, says, as Holly says, and I have to echo this, this is my favorite part of the show. This is where I do not always like to agree. I always like to hear why I'm wrong. And then also like to feel good once in a while that I feel like I'm right. So I love the back and forth with it. And I think, uh, Tim, to your point, yeah, I think you said it much more eloquently than I did. Uh, in the sense of 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 how the future will be perceived, and, I, and I'm I'm speaking at a conference next week. And I'm going to steal some statements we made out of this show, as a matter of fact, and throw into that because I think we made some great statements to it. And, uh, and just so, oh wait, I just one thing to say. I've been watching the presidential and vice presidential debates. My approach after this, I wanted to give you a heads up. I'm just going to make outlandish statements that are <laughs> to win the debate from now on. That's going to be my new strategy. Right, right. win on substance, not on, win on style, not on substance. Style, that's style, right, that's style. right. All right. Style. I'll make this thing. Tim, if they want to see you, find you, or whatever, talk to you for anything, how can they find you, sir? Timpeter.com and at TC Peter on Twitter. Easiest way to find me. Excellent. Yep. And ask Mr. for Ted. <laughs> ask, for, ask for Ted, right, yeah. The guitar playing dude. <laughs> exactly. I, I was I was going to say Tim Tim did do the mic drop, but unfortunately it dropped onto the pickup of his telecaster and it's now <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Robert, how can people find anyway. you if they're wanting to find you? Robert K. Cole or Rock Cheetah. Those two things you should find me. Uh, and for anyone else who wants to play back any of these episodes, they can be found on hospitalitydigitalmarketing.com forward slash live. Or if you want to go over and watch over three days of unrepeated content of all of our shows from the uh, well over a year of doing this, you can go to hospitalitydigitalmarketing.com forward slash 24 live and our oh, podcast. Wait. I, I thought you were going to say if you want to watch three hours of uninterrupted content, you're going to put up the number for like a mental health services. Yeah, number. really. No, we actually have three. That's right. Folks. Yeah, we have That's three right, days. Folks, if you like content. us, tell your friends. If your friends like us, get new friends. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we do a recap on our podcast. Hey, I interviewed a really interesting guy met over at uh, HS Mayor's Leadership Conference in Boca. He's a, a hospitality copywriter based out of San Diego. If you get a chance to pop over to the podcast, uh, I had to split up our interview into two sessions because we ran for, for twice as long as we wanted to, obviously. But he had some very interesting insights on storytelling, if you want to play back Ooh, that. Keyword, keyword stuffing. Excellent. No. <laughs> <laughs> he went off on some tangents. But anyway, that's at hospitalitydigitalmarketing.com forward slash podcast. So, Thank you, everyone, for joining us this week. Thank you, Ed, for making the effort in the middle of Hurricane Matthew uh, to have joined us uh, while your family was running around watching the wind and the waves. Uh, and we will be back again next Friday, 1030 Central, 1130 Eastern for This Week in Hospitality Marketing, episode number 62. And I will I will try to be there. I'm going to be in Orange. Oh, I may not. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. I'll try Please to be, be there. there. You keep you keep, you keep Tim and I at bay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Tim. Thank Bye. you, as always. Robert, thank you, as always.